Hello everyone, welcome to the JMeter tutorial. In the previous session, we have seen the installation of JMeter and in the current tutorial, we will see a, how to create a basic test in the JMeter. So I'm navigating to JMeter. Here you can see a test plan. Test plan contains all the elements which are required during the test. If you right click on the test plan and in the add section, you can see there are several elements that is threads, config elements, listeners, timers. We'll see each of them one by one. So first of all, I am adding a thread group. So in the thread group, we can add the number of threads as per requirement in the test. So as of now, I'm giving the number of threads to two. Now, what is this ramp up period? So give me a second. Now, if I am giving as number of threads as 10 and ramp up period as 100, that means my each thread that is my user will take 100 divided by 10 seconds that is 10 seconds to be up and running since i have taken over here two users and if i take as four seconds for the ramp up that means that means four divided by two that is each user will take two seconds to be up and running so these all are my thread properties. Now coming to the loop count. Loop count means the number of times a single user will do the test. Suppose if I take uh, one user, so how many times the one user will do the test? If uh, I keep this as three, that means one user will do the execution three times. If I am keeping it as four, then one user will do the execution four times. As of now, I'm keeping it as one. I'm skipping this scheduler part. We'll see in the coming videos, all these. And now if I right click on the thread group and navigating to add, you can see over here sampler. Now sampler tells the JMeter to send requests to a particular server and wait for the response. So there are several requests over here. That is the HTTP request, debug sampler. You can see over here F FTP request, Java request. So we will start with the HTTP request and these all are the information that need to be filled to send an HTTP request. So let's navigate to Wikipedia and if I search over here JMeter and uh, you can see over here the server name that need to be given. So I will take the server name as this. And protocol, this is the HTTP protocol. If even if I am not entering this HTTP, the JMeter will take this HTTP by default. So as of now, I am deleting this one and the path. So I will take this as a path. This is the path. So my request is ready to be sent to the server. That is the HTTP server. And now I need to see the result. So how can I see the result? For that, I need to right click on the thread group and I will, on, I will add a listener over here. So there are several listeners. As of now, I am taking this view results tree listener. So you can see over here, one listener is added. Here I can see my results of the request. This is my request and here I can see the result. So yeah, my basic test is ready and this is the run button. So once I click on the run button, my execution will be started and I can see it over here in the re result section. So let's get started. Okay, I have not saved the test, so let me save it. So I have saved the test and it gets started. So yes, you can see, as you can see, I have 
I have taken two users and there was a loop count of only one. So you can see over here, I got two requests and all of my requests get passed. So if I click on the first request and here you can see what request got sent and what response I got. This is the response body and this is the response header. Suppose I make the loop count as four and my users are two. That means two users will be doing the execution four times. That means I will get the result eight times. So I can clear this result using this icon clear all. I will clear this one and I will start the execution again. And yes, my test is ready and it is doing the execution. And yes, my test is completed since I have taken two users and all of them are doing the execution four times. That means two into eight, that is eight, sorry, two into four, that is eight. So I, ha I have got the result eight times and all are successful. You can see these requests and the response data, it's request body, sorry, response body and the response headers. So this is, I have created just a basic test. In the coming videos, we'll see in detail about the JMeter configuration and the performance testing. Thank you.